This is a bit of a comparison video between two different Ryobi 18 volt battery inverters, the RYI 150BG, which is this one, and the RYI 120AVNM, that's this one. And uh, just, this one's just new to the market. Uh, you actually can't find this in a lot of stores, and the one that I got this in. It had a big no home sticker on the package, so I actually had to track down where it was in their inventory, kind of how they'll have on the second and third levels of shelving various inventory you can't get to without a ladder or man lift. Uh, overall, this one is a lot more expensive, and of course it only works with the 18 volt uh, 1 plus batteries, but this one has an advantage and it's a much more convenient package because it's all in one thing. Now you do see a lot of complaints about the USB ports, and uh, those do uh, those are valid complaints because for whatever reason the resistor they use in the uh, USB ports, since the way that the charging current is set in devices which aren't actively communicating with whatever you're charging is there's just a resistor on the data plus and data minus lines, and the value of that resistor dictates to... Uh, to the device, you know, how much the source is capable of supplying. Well, this only charges at 500 milliampere at most, and it's actually often a bit less. Uh, but if you hook up something that doesn't care, like I've hooked up some USB uh, LED lights that are about 2.5 watts each, and I've hooked up two of them, and it'll run them just no problem. So it's not an issue with the DC to DC, it's just a matter of uh, use the wrong resistor. But those USB ports can work for powering stuff that doesn't care. Um, it also has a light, which of course doesn't work when the thing isn't on. Of course the advantage of this, well, can be an advantage, can be a disadvantage. Just hit the button, and it turns on. And then the light works. Uh, and also to turn it off, you just hit the button. Whereas with this one, you have to push and hold the button. And then the light works. Or the output turns on. And also to turn it off, you have to push and hold, and then it goes out. However, one advantage of this is it's a dual function thing. So it has this adapter, but it'll also run on 12 volts with a uh, cigarette lighter adapter. Which also means that because the input of this is good for wider than the typical about 10.5 to 16 volt range of most uh, 12 volt quote unquote inverters, it means that also if you're doing stuff with things like a race car, because uh, a lot of them will use 14 volt or even 16 volt electrical systems. That's why 7 cell and 8 cell lead acid batteries exist, including Rito ones, which have a uh, they're 16 volts, but they got a 12 volt tap. Um, you could use stuff with them. These uh, inverters will work with again those higher potential systems, which are 12 volt only inverter may not be happy with. Of course, the problem with these, you have this extra fiddle dingus thing, which can set off on you. But, um, again, I mean, they both work for their respective purposes. Because, especially this one, I use it a lot for work lights and stuff. But, uh, this one, I haven't had much of a chance to use it. But this one, at least, you hook it up and with the, to uh, charge stuff with the USB ports, and they'll charge perfectly happy. So yeah, just a short video on these things.